Hey, good morning, CCNE family. Good to be with you this morning. Great to, to have an opportunity to share with you. Uh, excited for just, there are a lot of things going on, a lot of good stuff happening, and uh, we're excited for that. This is um, what uh, will be the next to the last Friday Devo. Uh, Pastor Brennan will share next week, and uh, that for at least a season will be the end of the Five Minute Fridays, although they've rarely been five minutes um, it won't go away completely, but we'll just change some things up with some other things, uh, or mix it up with some other things as we go forward. So, uh, look forward to what's going to happen there. Uh, look forward to seeing you Sunday morning, nine and 11. Uh, also this Sunday, in case you haven't seen, um, if you consider Calvary Chapel Northeast, your home, if this is your home church, if this is your family, uh, from four to six Sunday afternoon, we're going to do what families do. We're gonna have a family meeting that uh, everybody needs to be here. So we've got some things that we want to share with you. Some exciting news, some things going on, uh, great ministry opportunities in front of us, but also some updates on the building. Um, I said that like they're two different things. Is that there's there are lots of good things going on. So we just want to let you know where things are with the with the new building as we move forward. Um, so four to six Sunday afternoon. Be with us. We look forward to seeing you. Um, <clears throat> to that end, uh, Pastor Brennan, especially this past week, has uh, has put out a video earlier in the week, encouraging, inviting all to uh, join in prayer, uh, even fasting. Um, over not only the building, um, but the things going on in our world and our community. Um, just there's so much happening, and uh, we are we are we need to be people of prayer. So uh, so really, that kind of <clears throat> led me to or informed what I wanted to share this morning, and I will be really brief because uh, I, I think it's pretty straightforward. And this has been on on my heart for a couple of weeks, uh, as I shared with. Uh, some of the men at Oliver Gospel a few weeks ago, um, we, we've got a designated time of prayer, community prayer there that we've started with the men. Um, so I shared this with them a, a few weeks ago and just want to share it with you this morning. Um, I was looking and uh, I can only find three places in scripture where the words, this is the will of God. Um, many, 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 many references to the will of God, absolutely um, discerning the will of God, do the will of God, understand, know the will of God. Many times that's referenced, but what I've been able to find is three instances where the words, this is the will of God, meaning that there's something specific that's stated that that's the will of God. So I wanted to share with you this morning, <clears throat> One of those places is uh, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. Uh, For this is the will of God, your sanctification. It goes on to say that you abstain or flee from sexual immorality. Um, another place is uh, 1 Peter 2, 15. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you would silence the ignorance of foolish people. I think we could have long, long conversations about that, but that's not where we're going today. The one I want to look at. 1 Thessalonians 5, <clears throat> beginning in verse uh, 15. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Pretty straightforward. We ask, what is the will of God? Will of God for all of us is there are individual and specific things that he has for us. <clears throat> but very generally, very across the board, uh, there's a direction here that this is the will of God in Christ for you. And what is that? To rejoice always, pray without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances. Again, I think that's pretty clear. Will of God, pray without ceasing. Pray. Prayer is the will of God. Of course, it contributes to our sanctification. Uh, it, it directs us in, in how we live and do good, as the first Peter uh, verse talked about. 
where this very specifically says, the will of God is to pray without ceasing, is to give thanks in everything, is to rejoice always. We've got much to rejoice about. We've got much to pray about. We've got much to give thanks for. Again, we've got much to pray about. So as a family, we're going to come together Sunday uh, as a result of prayers, to direct our prayers going forward, uh, even for a time of prayer while we're together. Um, we do have our prayer time here on Tuesday mornings at 6 o'clock. Um, it's not the only time we pray, but we do have a specific time of prayer. Um, I would even ask that you would pray for the Minute Oliver Gospel Mission on Thursdays at one o'clock as they have a set aside time for community prayer. So I just think it's been on my heart. How important is prayer? It's the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we're so grateful for this day that you've given us. Lord, we give thanks for all that you have done for us. Lord, the way that you've lavished us with your grace. We just pray now that you would clothe us in humility, that we would know and understand that that very specifically your will for us is to be people of prayer, people who rejoice, people who give thanks. So Lord, we come to you now in prayer to, uh, to Lord ask you that you would guide everything we do. Lord, pray that our, our, uh, our time, our prayer, our worship, uh, all of those things would honor and please you. And as a result, Lord, we would live lives that make much of you, that point people to you. Lord, help us to be a people of prayer. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. People of prayer, it's God's will for you. Take care. God bless.